Hi, my name is Victor Echo. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to convert your 2D text to your 3D text. Now, what you will need here is your Corel Draw and your Photoshop. But if you design with Photoshop, then you can create your 2D text in Photoshop and still convert it to your 3D there. But if you are using Corel Draw like me, I'm using Corel Draw 2021. So I create my 3D text and my 2D text from Corel Draw. I export it and take it to my Photoshop. So let's get started. Let me open a new page. So what I do is I come to my text. You write what you write what you want. What you want, maybe the theme of the program, you can write like Jesus, uh, I do the, the theme of the program, or anything you want to create the 3D text from. But for this, I'll say Arise, oh god. Text here and make it bold. Yes, it must always be in black. You cannot use um, red color, it won't work, or uh, yellow. So leave it in black color. So for this, okay. which text, which font do I use here? Okay, Montserrat. Let me go over to Montserrat. Sarah's black, okay. So what I'll do, I want to change this eye to this this one. How did I do that? I come to my shape tool, drag it like this. Then I come, I come to my shape tool. God means I could press Ctrl Q to convert it to curve, then I double tap the middle because I want to make it a triangle. I double tap this place to create a node, then I double tap here and double tap there. So it's something like this. And I click on this place, I come here. And convert to curve, and I bring this down like this. Then I come to my shape again. You see this node that is there. If you press it, you will see other options. So for this, you see other options there. For this, you see other option. So I'm going to my ellipse. Then you you press your control down to make the curve to make the circle equal. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I change it to black and I remove the outline. You can right click this place or you come over to this place and click on none. To remove the outline. Um, okay, let me, let me still tweak this a bit. Let me place it here. From that to curve. It a bit. From that to curve. Push it out a bit. your control G to group them and you can bring it here so 
for this you press your control k to break the text apart and you come over to your text here you delete this and click your space bar three times uh, the number the amount you want and you bring this one in so I'm going to still make it pass let me ungroup them and I come to my shape again this lot of the space that is too much here I can use my shape tool to bring them together this I click on this one because this down is going out I click on this and press shift and tap on the text and you click on B to take it to bottom so that the two will be on the same base only the head will pop out then for this you can bring it closer reduce it a bit Click on shift and tap the upper one, then C to make it center. And bring this down a bit. Okay, so if you are true, if this is how you want it to be, this is just a tutorial. If this is how you want it to be, you just click your control E to export them. To export it, change the name to um, arise so I can get to see it. Arise and I and for that I change it to PNG which is a transparent background. It does always export as PNG. Arise. Then I export it. So I'll keep it. Then you come over to your Photoshop. Now I've opened the Photoshop. Here is the Photoshop. But you will need a template. You will need a template to do that. I've already downloaded the template. You will go to your um to freepick.com. You search for um text mockups. So if you search for text mockups, you'll see a whole lot of mockups you can use. But for this video, I'll put the zip file of this particular one I use, which is hyperactive. So I come over to where I saved my files. This is it. Then this is hyperactive text style effects. That is the one I used. We have different effects this is a shiny text style in case you want to use it so i'll double tap on my ipad active i come to this place that has ps come to this place that has ps i double tap it so as it will take me to um Photoshop. Now it will open here.
okay so this is how it's open but the only thing I need there is um sorry the only thing the only thing I need is this sorry So the only thing I need is this particular mock-up. So for all other things that are there, I would need to remove them. How do I remove them? I'll just close on the eye icon there. Like for the text now, this is the title. If I close it, you see, it has disappeared. Um, once again the color I don't like I don't want the background color because after you finish everything you download this as PNG so you don't need of the background color I'll take that out FX text my shadow I need the shadow FX shadow let me see let me see okay I would need I will need the shadow there to make the work look good. So that is uh, okay. The background, the background. I would close it. But I don't want the background. Sorry, it's slowing up. So the next thing I'll call I'll do is you see this small, this small icon that is inside. The larger one that is what I would press. I'll double tap it. I double tap in, it will take me so, okay. Some text missing. No, I don't want. So once I double tap, once I double tap, it will bring the um, interface like this. Then I go to where I saved my PNG, it should be under. I design that is arise. So what I will do, I drag it inside a Photoshop and place it there. Then I can increase it to the size I want. After increasing it, I click on enter and I close this eye of the other one. Once I'm done with it, arrangement and everything, I click on Ctrl S to save it. Now I'll watch it save. Once it's finished saving, I'll open up and see it. Okay, so it has saved like that. I'll come over to this place and check. Now this is how it looks like. You can do your own better than this. So in case you want to adjust anything, maybe you want to move it up to this place, you come to the place bar, click on Ctrl C, then you move up. Click on Enter, Ctrl S to save it. A bit, it's still updates. So it's Okay, so it has finished saving all my 
there to check. better than this okay this is it then I'll click on shift control s if I want to save it shift control s or I come over to this place come to file and save as shift control s save as So he will change it to um, PNG. Change it to PNG. You are not saving as JPEG, but as PNG. Come over to. Let me see it under my designs. Saving. You can come to this to your workspace now. Import it in. It's under my design. is it is 3d I drag it to my correct draw and I'll be able to use it So this is it. You can, you can now change background like um double tapping by double tapping to change this then you can use any background you want. You see that it's now in transparent form. That is, that is how you can convert your 